Hey guys, so today I want to talk about how I balance work and travel. So I got this question on my Ask Ify form and someone was asking me how I balance, you know, working and travel and like do I work for full time, part time and how do I travel so much with my work schedule? And um, a lot of people asked me this and one of my friends, um, I was talking to him about something else and they were like, oh, do you even work? And I was, in my mind, I was just like, bitch, what? <laughs> like, like, you know, it was kind of like a shady, like, do you even work? I'm just like, it's like, let me make a video on like how I balance, you know, work and travel. Because I do post a lot of like when I travel and make videos and like vlogs and stuff like that. But like, you know, if you don't really know me that well, like you don't know that I actually am a pharmacist and stuff. So... Yeah, so my job, I'm a pharmacist. I work for Walmart Pharmacy. Um, I have my doctorate degree in pharmacy and I'm actually a full-time pharmacist. Full-time. Full-time pharmacist. I work every day of the week except for one day. So five days of a week I work four. And then every third week I work the weekends along with a full week. So yeah, I have a pretty full schedule and um, I work every third weekend. So so sometimes it falls two weekends in a month but usually it's one weekend in a month that i have to work and then um and then if like i work a weekend i'm usually off monday tuesday like so if i work so I mean, let me try to explain my schedule so a weekend that i work this is how it works this is how it is so i work monday tuesday wednesday i'm off thursday i work friday saturday sunday and now when i work a weekend i'm always off Monday, Tuesday, work Wednesday, off Thursday, work Friday. So the week, so that week leading up to when I work the weekend, I work every day except for one day. And then after I work a weekend, that next week, I will I work two days. So that's how my schedule is. A template schedule, it's a rotating schedule. So there's three pharmacists and we rotate weekends. So I work every third weekend. So yes, I work full time. I have a job for my friend that shaded me. So the way my schedule works with traveling, like honestly, like when I travel, it's not that I really like plan it, but it, it's like just there's so much stuff that comes up, you know? So like right now, um, it's November and I totally told myself I'm not going anywhere in November and I'm only gonna go home for Thanksgiving. So I have no plans of traveling anywhere because I have a lot of stuff to prepare for for the holidays. And then also like I'm very tired from this whole year leading up till now and stuff with Inky's wedding and stuff like that. So like I get I get exhausted, you know, cuz like you're always like like on like you always going to the next thing. You never have time to stop, you know. So and I get tired sometimes, so right now, like after Keith's wedding and then all the weddings I went to after, I was like, okay, I'm done. Like, I am done. So this month, I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. I am not going anywhere. So what I do is I plan my travel around my work schedule. So it's like, I, I, my, my schedule is templated, so I always, so I know what it's going to be like. So I always plan around that. So if someone's like, oh, did you want to go to New York this weekend? Um, you know, like the, a weekend in the future, I'm just like, okay, let me take them off. I'm off. Okay, let's go. I just go. And um, that's how I do it. I just, like if something comes up and, it, and I don't work, then I just say, okay, I'll go. You know, and then I have my friends that are getting married and, you know, traveling because like I'm not married yet and I have no kids and I'm living my life. So I always like to, you know, remind myself that, you know, take advantage of, you know you being a single woman right now because when you you know get married and have kids you're not going to be always so flexible to just get up and go so that's my philosophy in life is just like now that i'm in my 20s and like i'm working and you know i'm here by myself and like let me just go and have fun and live so that's how i have my philosophy in life and how i'm able to travel so much with my work schedule also um another thing like i was going to talk about this separately but i said i guess it kind of works with you know why like how i travel so much now is that um i prioritize like what i want to give myself in life so right now so from when i was like in school um and 
now, you know, I, 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 I'm, I was in school and then now I finished school and like I'm, I was working. So I'm working. I have no kids. I, I'm not married yet. And I'm on my own just living life. So my priority to me, my personal priority was let me travel. Because when I was in pharmacy school, pharmacy school is like treacherous. You know, and you don't really have that much flexibility to travel and do a lot of stuff like that. So I feel like I missed out on a lot of like spring breaks and summer trips like with friends and stuff because I was in pharmacy school. So when I finished pharmacy school, I was like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. So I was full force. I traveled anywhere that I could, anytime that I could. And it's, and like... You know, traveling isn't free. Traveling can get expensive and stuff, but I always find a way to, you know, budget how much I want to spend for travel and also have enough money to travel where I want to travel. And that brings me back to what I'm trying to put together. But my priority right now, like my priority, my priority was like, I want to travel. This is like my life now and I want to travel and do this because I know that when I'm married and when I have kids, I won't be able to travel as free willingly and as random and as spontaneous as I want to because I have, you know, my responsibilities at home as a wife and as a mother. So right now, my extra money that I have from, you know, paying my bills and stuff and like my free money that I want to do, but you know, my, my personal expenses, you know, I, I, prioritize that all to my all to traveling so that's why I'm able to afford to travel as often as I want to because that's my priority right now in my life you know so I could not travel and you know buy all these kind of clothes and bags and cars and stuff and like I know that I can afford to do that but that's not what I want to do with my money right now in my life because if I can travel I'm gonna travel you know I can save so I can save all that, you know, like uh, every woman likes a nice bag, nice clothes and stuff and having a collection of designer bags and shoes and stuff. And that's all good. But for me, it's like, oh, I want that, but I want that like later. Like when I'm at home with kids and, you know, take care of my family and I don't, I'm not able to travel as much. Like that would be my party. It's like, What's for me? Like, oh, okay, if I want to buy this bag, I want to buy this bag. And I want these shoes, I want these shoes. So it's like my shifting priorities with your, like, your money, you know? So a lot of people think that, like, you know, how people are with, like, you know, social media and stuff. And it's like, oh, my gosh, I saw this girl that she, she like, has this car and she, like, has this bag and these clothes and shoes and stuff. And it's just like, yeah, you know, like, you can, if you, you can afford to do that. But it's like for me I'm like I'd rather spend my money traveling and then buy all that extra stuff like later in life when I'm you know not able to travel as much you know so that's my priority so that's why I'm able to afford to travel as much as I want to and you know and have fun and stuff and that's just that's just how I prioritize my my stuff so you know people people my age they may want to prioritize you know buying cars and buying this and that and stuff but me i'm like i want to travel i want to go to spain i want to travel europe and i want to go to nigeria and i want to do this i want to do that you know so that's why i travel a lot right now and that's why i choose to do that and yes i work 40 hours a week full time and still travel a lot so yeah, so that answers your question of, you know, how I'm able to travel so much and stuff like that. So I hope I wasn't so like all over the place with this video because I didn't really think about like how I wanted to structure it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave your comments below on like what you think is like a good priority in your life based on, you know, where you're at in life. You know, like I'm in school and my priority is this and like I'm working. But I'm not married and I don't have kids and my priority is this. And like when I have kids and I'm at home and married, this is my priority, you know? So it's just like personal, like your personal, you know, like your personal like priority as in like, you know, like, how do I, what word am I trying to find? Like your personal like pleasures and like, you know, what you want to, like little things you want to do for yourself and stuff. So let me know what you guys think and where you're at in your life and like what you like to do for fun on your own like spending money and stuff like that so 
think that's all I wanted to say. Anyways, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!